Canada's unbroken boreal wilderness represents 25% of the world's remaining ancient forests. It is globally significant in its role as species habitat, water filter, and carbon storage. The largest area of intact boreal forest in Canada is in Manitoba and Ontario. While southern parts of this forest have already been heavily logged, the area north of roughly 51 degrees latitude remains unallocated to industry and mostly undisturbed. Recent moves by forestry, hydro, and mining interests now threaten the ecological integrity north of 51. In the summer of 2007, Taku Hokoyama and myself, Frank Wolf, set off from Winnipeg on a 3,100 kilometer canoe journey through the region in an attempt to paddle to my cottage in southern Ontario. This is Borealis. I'm standing here at the base of the first of four dams on the Metagamy River and behind me here is the channel we actually paddled up last night. Uh, overnight I guess they shut the water off and the channel disappeared. It's dry land. So it shows you what a dramatic effect dams can have on the characteristic of rivers. Alright, so we're here at the uh, base of the four dams that uh, plug up the Metagamy. And so we have a 21 kilometer portage to get around them. Uh, if you try to portage around dams individually and go in between the dams, uh, it's quite dangerous because the uh, dams are programmed basically to go randomly on and off depending on, on power needs. So uh, we have to go around all four of them at once on this uh, little road. So long day of walking. We're about 2K into this 21K portage and big loud bang, tire blew, clean through, uh, ripped right through the actual tire itself, inner tube, everything gone. Uh, we knew it was kind of weak because wonky from our about 55K we had uh, uh, to get around the cabina and into the uh, Pivabisca system, but now now it's just dead, so we got to figure out some way to keep it going. Uh, probably stuff it with leaves or something, but it's going to be, it's not going to work that well no matter what. All right, so we've put duct tape in there. I've uh, cut out the inside of the inner tube and lined it throughout the uh, tire and now we got to give it some volume so uh, what we've got is we've got some contributions from both we've got Taku's long underwear got my little uh, quick dry towel my fleece pants fleece shirt all extraneous goods if they get burned into the road will survive Take two, let's see what happens this time.
So here we are, uh, almost a couple hours into it since the repair. It's still holding up, but it's uh, much like dragging an anchor through the sand. And uh, Taku's tendons from paddling kind of acting up a little bit, so I'm just going to uh, trying to keep on moving forward. It's still better than carrying, though. Definitely. Right? It's like a, oh yeah, <laughs> whole bunch better. Taku Hokuyama, how was that portage? Uh, that was uh, pretty physically demanding. I keep saying over and over again towards the camera that this was the hardest leg, this was the hardest leg. They all seem hard <laughs> right now. Twenty-one kilometers, the bum wheel, uphill all the way. I'm spent.